Are you wondering what post-processing actually involves in SLS printing? What needs to be done to get nice smooth parts and to handle the used power in an efficient way? Then stay tuned! We have come a long way from pure enthusiasm to serious SLS business. All this was only possible thanks to our early supporters, community and many other people. So thanks to all of you. Since we and mainly our customers are happy with the performance of our printer, the equipment and tools for the post-processing is the natural next step. Therefore, today I will continue where I actually stopped in one of my previous videos. It means that I printed yesterday quite nice half-chamber job, which cooled out during the night and now is the right time to post-process it. Many people are really worried about the post-processing in SLS printing and I want to show you today that it's not necessary. It's all about tools and not the equipment. If you had the right one, then everything is easy. There are many ways how to approach it. Starting with the simple sieve and the plastic bin and ending with the really complex and costly solutions. Both of these approaches have of course pros and cons. On one side you have comfort and efficiency of the post-processing and on the other side, as usual, price. We want it to go as usual somewhere in the middle. It means to come with something which is really handy, really capable, but affordable. And here it is, our EPP, which stands for Easy Post Process Station. You can remember from one of my last videos that we already developed EPP station, say two years ago. But its problem was, it was too heavy and too huge. So no way for shipping. But it works pretty well and frankly I can't image to live without that. Therefore I took all the main components and compressed them into this compact version. If you like our project and this kind of content, please subscribe. Our EPP is a 3-in-1 solution. It will at first help you to remove all the prints from the cake in a clean way. Secondly, you will clean the printer easily and efficiently in one minute. And finally, and that's most important to me, it will sieve all the powder, which can be refreshed and reused. And now let's go for what you are waiting for. Let's test it. First thing we have to do is to remove the powder cake from the printer. To do so, simply click eject. Once this is done, take the 3D printed cake removal tool and slowly remove the cake from the printer and place it on the top of the EPP station. When we started this cleaning process, we started our EPP station and also the workshop vacuum. It means that there is quite a lot of suction inside of the EPP station, which ensures that powder is not everywhere around. It's not only practical, but it also protects your health. You can use different nylon brushes for cleaning the parts from the big one at the beginning and the small one at the end of the cleaning process. This will help you to clean the parts in a nice and efficient way. And here we are, these are all the parts we printed in this job. And I'd like to note again that this was only like half of a chamber. And how to finish your parts, there are really many ways. You can simply clean them using the compressed air, you can use media blasting, you can dye them, you can pay them, you can use metal plating methods, it's all up to you. These parts were just slightly media blasted, this is our common procedure. But now let's move to printer cleaning. To be able to clean the printer, you need to plug into the EPP station this flexible anti-static hose. You can do it via this 3D printed reduction part, which is also properly grounded. So we will just remove this and simply plug it here, like so, and you are ready. On the other end of the hose, there is also 3D printed part, which allows you to clean your EPP or printer really easily. So let's switch the sieve. Workshop vacuum. And we can start the printer cleaning. Now you can see the exact amount of the powder which left in the printer after our job. As you can see it's not a lot, but you still have to clean the printer to make it ready for another print. If you are about to print from the more than one powder, I mean the most common PA12, I would highly recommend to have one EPP set for each powder. 
it will save you a huge amount of time because precise cleaning of our EPP set will not be necessary. And here is the final setup, our EPP station which is connected to this hermetic powder box. It's connected via two state cyclone separator to remove all the particles from the air which is going to this simple 60 box workshop vacuum. And that's it. Maybe you are wondering that at the beginning of this video I said that this is a three-in-1 solution and I have described only two functionalities so far. I mean the pass the powdering and printer and EPP cleaning. And what's the third one? Where is it? It's powder sifting. And it's nice thing on this solution that during the first two operations, the third one is being done automatically. It means that all the powder which ended up here in this hermetic box has been already sifted. Clean and efficient way. And that's it for today. See you next time.